what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use the ai masking tool in Fimora. so this is supposed to make the masking process a lot easier a lot faster and more accurate so we're going to be trying it out in this video this is Fimora version 13 so let's go ahead and get started as you can see here on the timeline i have two videos the first one is just a stock video and this is supposed to be the perfect video right as you can see there's not anything happening in the background these are videos that are easy to mask really so because there's not too much going on so it doesn't distract the AI in thinking that something is the actual thing you're trying to uh, keep in the video when you mask and we also have a more realistic video which is a video of me here um, this is a realistic video this is what most people are going to be trying to mask right this is a real video of someone uh, sitting in front of a camera and this is more of a professionally produced video that is can easily be um you know masked or that can easily be re you can easily remove the background from this video without anything distracting you so let's go ahead and get started we're going to start with our professional video here which is not so realistic for a lot of people so select the video and also i'm going to double click on this video but if you have uh your uh your um your layout mode somewhere here um you know if you have let's say the timeline you're not going to have the same uh you know layout when you double click this right you can see that your ai tools are going to be on this side i like to use um actually let me exit out of this i like to use uh the classic mode right because i've used Fimora since version 8 so i've always used this classic mode here all right so to get started you're going to go ahead and double click on the video right and this is going to bring out this uh, toolbar here where you are going to be able to see all the video properties that you have now you want to make sure that you're under video if you've used it before maybe you are messing with the color it's going to be on here so i'm going to go over back to video and underneath video there's a sub menu and you want to go over to mask okay go to mask and as you can see here there are some options that we can use here right one of the new features that was introduced in version 12 i believe was the ability to draw a mask before you could only use these preset uh, mask shapes and um, paths this is what you were able to do before and then we had the draw mask now we actually have an ai mask which is for version 13 so to get started you want to make sure that you have your video selected and i'm going to go ahead and select ai mask click on that all right so there's a couple of options here once you click on this the first um, setting here is going to be uh, how do you want to create this mask okay so if you click this drop down here there's three options the first one is a smart brush and then the second one is select character and the last one is select subject right and i'm going to be showing you um you know the how these uh work okay now I'm going to go to smart brush and what I like to do when I'm doing this is I like to move um, my playhead to the beginning of the clip itself, right? Just in case you have to track this, you want it to start from the beginning of the clip and you know, you don't want it starting in the middle. It's always good practice to do that. So once I selected my smart brush and the setting that comes with the smart brush is going to be the size of the brush, right? So this size is pretty far is good. So if you go over to the preview screen, you can see the size here. If I increase the size, you can see it increase here on the preview screen. But this is pretty good because you don't have to brush every little thing here. What you can do is you can brush the general area. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So to select this person, I'm going to go ahead and just select uh, kind of like that. Get the face, the hair, go down, get the suit, and just like that, okay? Now, as you can see, it goes ahead and creates a path for me with uh, keyframes and, you know, things like that, that you can see the entire path. So this is an, an easy video to track. As you can see, it kind of like tracks the thing perfectly just because there's not anything happening in the background. Now, once you have this, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. Scroll down. The AI mask is going to pop is going to open up here, right? It's going to be a bunch of options. So. The first one is extend, right? So sometimes if you have a lot of things happening in the background or if you're moving too much, um, it's not going to select, you know, how you want it. It might be more, you know, minimized or maybe like eating into your face, into your body. What you can do is you can actually extend it, which means you want to expand the path that's here in how the path is made. You want you just want to expand it, right? Or you can even, uh, you know, retract uh, the path here, right? So if you if it's selected, too much space that's not you know your body you can actually retract it by you know minimizing this so i'm gonna leave this at 100 percent because this is a perfect video with a perfect background that's gonna really capture everything i need uh with uh, the default settings now you also have the blur strength 
this is going to be um, if you want to blur out the edges here. So if you have really sharp edges, sometimes it's fine to blur them a little bit just so that it's not too sharp. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this at zero. And if you look on the right side here, you have the ability to add keyframes. And this is something we're going to cover in a future video where we're going to be able to add keyframes to these things. Uh, and the last one is obviously going to be the opacity. Well, how do you want the opacity to look here? Right. So I always leave this at 100 percent unless I'm creating a video that requires some type of special effect where I want kind of like a see through type of situation. But for this video, we're just going to leave it at 100 percent. And let's scroll down a little bit here. And you also have um, this option here called uh, the path here. So the path is essentially uh, these little you know points here, right? These little points here. This is the path, right? So what you want to do if you're going to do a mask where someone is moving, you want to track that. OK, so how do you track this? You can click this play button here and what this is going to do. This is going to play the video. And if I'm moving, it's going to track my movements and record it within um, within uh, this video here. And it's going to create a bunch of keyframes here. Right. You see them. That's how I wanted to move the playhead to the beginning of the video. So if I go ahead and hit play here, go ahead and hit play. It's going to do motion tracking. So it's tracking uh, the movements. It's tracking, um, you know, kind of like keeping that. As you can see, this is not perfect, right? Hopefully with updates, it'll be a lot better because if I play this and play this for you, right, we've tracked it. You can see that there's still that little space here. It's not really doing a great job of kind of like, you know, not capturing the extra space, right? All right, so let me go ahead and pause that. Move that back to the beginning here. All right, so you can actually delete this if you want to track it again. You can go ahead and delete this. It's going to delete all the keyframes that were created. And let's say you didn't track it since I just deleted it. If I play this, you're going to see that this is not going to be, you're not going to have motion tracking of this, right? You just have uh, this, uh, uh, these, uh, this, uh, this area here, and it's not following the person. So that's the point of tracking it, right? Of tracking the path, because you want that path to follow the person as they are moving around, okay? Now, the last option here is going to be to invert the mask. If you wanted to do something like that, where instead of selecting uh, the person, you want to mask out, instead of masking out the background, you want to mask out the person. You could do that here, as you can see. Now you have have kind of like have uh, an inverted uh, mask okay so you want to always make sure that you track your uh you know your mask if it's a video of someone moving because you want that path to follow the person as they are moving around now let's move on to a more realistic option i'm going to go ahead and delete uh, this here go to our realistic option here and I'll, uh, we're going to go double click on the video itself go over to ai mask all right so we have our smart brush selected so for this video what I like to do with these videos is you want to find a frame where you can capture your entire body here, right? So, for example, let's go ahead and do like maybe right here, I guess. Uh, let's do the brush. I'm going to go like that, that. See, this is not too bad, right? This selected everything. So what you can do from here, you can actually adjust these points here, right? If you feel like maybe this is a little too out, you're going to be able to adjust uh, these out here. So if it doesn't do a good job. You always have the ability to kind of like adjust these here, right? So you can, you can, you can move this up, move them down, really track your body here. Okay. So that's how you can do it for this. Now I want, do want to show you the other options that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now the other options we have are going to be select character, right? This is going to select the character that's on the screen. In this instance, it's me. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And it's going to give you a couple of options here, right? <laughs> so it's going to, you know, kind of like capture anything that looks like a character within uh, the clip itself. So the first option here is going to be obviously me. That's the biggest character within the screen. Yeah, this is not really the best option. And as you can see here, you know, the path is not following me because this has not been tracked yet. You want to motion track it. OK, now the other one is going to be obviously going to be this one. So it's not entirely perfect, but it does pretty good job of you know, doing the basics, right? You do have the ability to adjust uh, the uh, frames themselves and the settings are going to be the same. You can extend, you can blur, uh, you can change the opacity and you want to always track uh, the path here. Let's go back to our uh, frame here. Okay. I'm going to move the play here to the beginning and I want to track uh, this path here. Let's go ahead and uh, track this path here. Which one is it? And this one right here. Let's go ahead and track the path. So you can see it's going to go ahead and track the path. Obviously not perfect because I'm moving too much. There's so much going on. So this still has a lot of work. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done on uh, this feature, even though it's, you know, it makes it a lot 
it's supposed to make it a lot easier but you know it doesn't really work if you're moving too much uh within the video okay now i want to show you the last option here i'm going to go ahead and hit reset and uh, i'm gonna go back to ai mask the last option is going to be select subject right go ahead and click on that select subject it's going to do the same thing as select character it's going to select all the subjects within the screen as you can see here <laughs> there's a lot going on here so you know this you can adjust like i showed you before um and you have the same settings here you can track the path um so this is pretty much the gist of it right so my favorite really if, if you're going to ask me like hey what would you use you know would you go for the select subjects select character or select um smart brush i would really use uh this smart brush here so if i select it uh, let me go ahead and uh, reset everything this is my favorite here the smart brush because it allows you to really you know highlight the areas that you want to be included within uh that path right you don't you're not you having you don't have ai suggesting that for you right because something might not look like a subject or a character so it's not going to be included but you do have the ability to create a path right afterwards you can adjust that path you know those points that it creates you can adjust those to uh, account for everything that you want to account for so i think that this is a great feature but it still does need a lot of updates it needs uh you know it needs to be able to be more accurate especially the motion tracking part right it needs to move as fast as the person i wish there were more uh, settings when it comes to the motion tracking you know how fast you wanted to track how accurate you wanted to track yeah i wish there was something like that that would really um kind of like you know make it more more uh you know, much more perfect uh, than it is right now but i believe with future updates uh, it's going to be improved over time but i think it's a great feature that is pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one peace